Okay, so with the PvP arena on the horizon and the recent update that introduced the ability glasses, I wanted to share my breeding method that helped me get perfect 100 stat pals. 100 in every stat, no matter the breed, whatever you want. This is the Lego method, and once again, I'm going to make this relatively quick. Honestly, it's super simple. Stop looking at any number. Let's see if I can find one here. There we go. Stop looking at any number other than 100s when looking at pals. We only care that this one has 100 in defense. We don't care about the other two. When you decide to breed pals together to get a perfect stat pal, put the pals together that have complementing stats. So let's see here. As an example, we have this Raindrix with uh, 100 and 100 in the top two, uh, top two slots. In order to breed a perfect pal with this one, all you'd want to do is find a pal with the 100 in the defense stat. All you're doing is putting the Legos together. Once you do that, you're going to end up with a nice yellow square of 100, uh, of 100 across the board in their stats. It's still RNG based, so it's not a guaranteed thing right away. Um, it's kind of the reason why I'm still struggling with these menace dings. Uh, the passives are a problem, but getting 100 in the stats is actually relatively easy. So just pay attention to the 100s and put together the complementing ones. Uh, actually, now that I'm looking at it, this wouldn't work because the menace ding is male. So, problem right there. So we would find a female with at least one stat in defense. It doesn't matter how many, as long as all of the stats are covered. And eventually you'll get whatever these two mix into, eventually you'll get one with 100 in their stats. Now, when playing with passives, ideally you want the two passives you want on a pal with 100 in at least some of their stats. In my case, I'm having a lot of trouble with these ones because some of my, uh, some of these perfect pals have these extra passives that make it harder to pass on the two that I actually want. This is why I have three different pens with multiple of the same pals in them, trying to get a combination that I need. And I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to reorganize some of these in order to get what I need. As an example, in this grouping here, um, I keep the pairs together to make them easier to manage, but I have a menace ding here with, that's perfect in stats, and it has three of the passives that I want. I want Burly Body on this, but it does not have it. I did have this one, but the Pacifist and the Muscle Head are kind of getting in the way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for a female with Burly Body, and the stats don't really matter because the first one is perfect across the board. So we're taking away one of the variables. We're taking away pacifist to try and get burly on this thing by itself. So unfortunately, it's still very RNG, but you can kind of control it with some luck. So we're taking away that and we're hoping that we end up with a menace thing with Musclehead, Legend, Lord of the Underworld, and Burly with all 100 in all of the stats, but even if that isn't the case, even if we don't get that perfect pal right away, what we can get is other ones, other pals that can fit together. So like this one has Legend and Musclehead. If I find, uh, if I manage to get a Menace Ding with a 100 uh, in its defense, if we'd need to find a male with 100 in defense that has um, Lord of the Underworld and Burly Body on it. Um, so as a male, I don't have that, but we could make that, right? And that's what we're waiting for. And that's the method. Plain and simple, that's what we're doing. All you're doing is shuffling these to get the stats. If, you, if we're not caring about passives right now. So if we wanted a perfect Jet Dragon, right? We would take this one with 100 in defense. Um, this one has 100 in defense also, so these will not work because they have a defense in... They just have the defense, but if we mix the female with the male here, 
we have a better chance of getting a Jet Dragon with 100 in attack and defense. Then we can go out and hunt Jet Dragon, uh, the Jet Dragons, and then uh, searching them with the ability glasses just uh, go back and forth until we find a Jet Dragon with a 100 in the attack, and then breed those together. And then eventually you'll wind up with Jet Dragons with 100 in all of their stats. And then after that, you'll start worrying about their passives. I have all of the passives on this one, so all I would need is one or two male jet dragons to start um, transferring the passives onto jet dragons that have 100 in some of their stats. And that's the process. That's, that's my Lego method. It's really, really simple. It's not hard to understand. It's just hard to juggle and it's hard to get right. So like in this case, I think for these pairing, I'm just looking to get Legend and Lord of the Underworld or Musclehead and Lord of the Underworld um, to get a combination there. These two, um, we are hoping to get the ideal pal. Burly Body, Musclehead, Legend, uh, Lord of the Underworld on a perfect stat body. And that's how I've, that's how I've made all of my 100 stat pals with all of the stats that I need. So like in this case, Ferocious Musclehead, Burly and Cheery. Uh, this is my, these are my raiders for the uh, Bella Noir raid, but uh, it took quite a bit to get because I would end up with a lot of garbage. But anyway, that's basically it. Yeah, you're welcome.